In this video, we're going to show you how to use the LMN Time mobile app for time tracking and payroll. You will learn how to create daily timesheets for your crews, punch into customer properties, as well as track the tasks that you are working on. And at the end of the day, submit your timesheet. Tracking your hours properly and accurately through the LMN Time app is really important because this is how your company is going to pay you for the hours that you have worked. Let's be honest, using the app is far better than filling out pieces of paper every single day. So let's get started. If you're currently using the LMN Time mobile app, you will get a notification that there is a new version of the app for you to download. When you click OK, it's going to take you to either the Apple or Google Play Store to update your LMN Time app. Once it's done updating, you can go back to your home screen on your phone and click into the new version. Now, first things first, you'll need to make sure that your company has provided you with a username and password. If so, go ahead and enter it in and click sign in. If you don't have one yet, you're going to need one to go any further, as you have to have a valid username and password to sign in. When you first sign in, you'll land on the main screen, which is the timesheet screen. This is where you're going to create a brand new timesheet for each day that you work. We can do that by tapping on the add new timesheet in the bottom right corner. It's as simple as that. We've just created a new timesheet for today's date. But you'll notice that the timesheet is blank. So we'll tap on the punch in button in the bottom right corner. You're going to have to select the crew members that will be working with you for today's timesheet. If you have set up a default crew, then crew members will already be selected for you. To select someone, scroll through your staff list, simply tap on their name, and they will be added to the crew that you are punching in. When you're done, we'll click next in the bottom right corner. Now we want to choose a job site so that not only your hours are tracked, but that they are tracked to a job. So let's say that all of our crew members meet at the shop first thing in the morning. This is the first job site that we are going to want to punch into. To find the shop in our job list, we can tap on the search button in the middle of your screen. Type in the name of the shop or even some of the shop address into the search bar up above and it will filter your job list down below. We can go ahead and select it. In the bottom right corner, you'll hit task. This is where we want you to choose the task that you're gonna be working on at the shop. So underneath the job task title, you'll see a drop down menu that you can click on and you'll choose your task. For this example, I'm gonna be loading my truck. At the top of the screen, you'll see your task start time, which is automatically being populated from the time on your device. And down below, you'll see the staff that you're about to punch in. Once you're done choosing your task, we can click the start button in the bottom right corner. And just like that, you've punched into the shop on your timesheet. If we click on the user icon, you can see who you punched in and the time. Now let's say we've loaded our truck and trailer and we're ready for the day. We take off and we drive to our first job site that we need to do work on. We arrive on site, open the Element Time app, and we can pick up right where we left off on our timesheet. You should be punching into the jobs as you get to them so that you have real time job information like GPS stamp job location, and how long it takes to complete the different jobs. All we need to do is click next task in the bottom right corner. This is going to punch us out of the shop job and punch us into the job site that we just arrived at. If your company has turned on crew notes as required, as you can see on my screen here, then you'll need to enter in notes here down below. These notes are going to pertain to the shop job that we're punching out of. Once you're done, you can tap save in the bottom right corner. Now that we've punched out of the shop, the app is going to ask us which job site we want to punch into next. Since our crew is already selected for us, we dive right into choosing our job site. We can use the search bar again to search for the job that we're going to be punching into. We'll select it and we'll click task in the bottom right corner. Here we want you to select the task that you're going to be working on at this specific job site so that we can log your labor hours to it. You can apply the same task to all of your crew members by tapping on the drop down menu and selecting your task. Or if you toggle the apply to all button, 
you can choose a task for each employee if needed. For this example, I'm going to choose to have everybody do the mowing task. And we'll go ahead and we'll click next in the bottom right corner. If your company has set up any crew instructions for the task that you have selected, you will see those here. So make sure to review those before you start work on site. When you're done, we'll click start. If you tap on the user icons, you can see that you and your crew have been punched out of the shop and punched into your new job site. Now let's say at the end of the day we are done working on site and we drive back to the shop. We will punch into the shop, unload our trucks, and punch out for the day. So we'll go through the same process and we'll click next task in the bottom right corner. We will select what was completed on our previous job site. So in this case I did mowing, the mow trim blow was done, and if you scroll down you can enter in any crew notes that are required for your mowing task, as well as any equipment notes and your weather notes will automatically be pulled from your device based on your location. Once we're done, we can click save. We've now punched out of our previous job automatically. Last thing we need to do is punch into the shop. So we'll select shop from our job list. We'll click task in the bottom right corner to choose the task we're gonna be working on. So in this case, I'll be unloading my truck and we'll click start in the bottom right corner. And again, if we click on the user icon on our previous job site, you'll be able to see your clock in and clock out time. When we're done at the shop and are ready to leave for the day, we'll tap the more button in the top right hand corner and we'll tap to punch out. The system will automatically pull the date and time from your device. And again, you can enter in any notes that you need to enter while you are unloading your truck at the shop. Once you're done, you can click save in the bottom right corner. And the last step of the day is submitting our timesheet to the office. So again, we'll tap on more in the top right hand corner and we'll tap on submit timesheet. Now the app will ask you to apply a lunch deduction before punching out for the day. So we'll tap OK and you will see the lunch day, time and duration. Make sure that these are correct. If they're not, you can tap on each one to make your changes and make sure you've selected all of your crew members have taken a lunch. When you're done, we'll click save in the bottom right corner. You can review the staff that you're punching out as well as their hours. Review the jobs and tasks worked on, and if there were any associated rates to the job, you can review those as well. It's really important to review your timesheet before submitting, because once it's submitted, you can't change it. You will have to call the office to make any edits. If you need to make changes, you can tap the back arrow in the top left corner, update your timesheet, and then resubmit. We will cover editing a timesheet in the Element Time App Advanced video. Once you've confirmed your timesheet is right, we can tap the submit button. And if we tap on the user icons, you can see that you've punched in and punched out of all your jobs for the day. If we tap on the all button in the top left corner, you can see the timesheet that you've just submitted as well as any other timesheets that you have filled out for any previous days worked. The office will now see that you have submitted a timesheet on October 22nd, see the jobs and the times that you have submitted, they will review and approve it to run it for payroll. Using the Element Time mobile app is a lot easier than paperwork and a lot more accurate as it's going to automatically track your time for payroll so that you can get paid on time. For more in-depth app training, make sure to check out our advanced Element Time App video.